Okay, so about cats, I mean the movie. First of all, I went to hate watch it or to mock watch it because I saw the reviews and the reviews were hysterical. People described it as like a horror movie or maybe a future instant horrible classic. And there were all kinds of puns and shade and disses and stuff. So I said, I have to see this. I, I really do. And it is not because I like cats like this dude or that dude. It has nothing to do with that. And I know when it was on Broadway in um, productions everywhere for years, I thought this is really stupid. And I didn't like the sound of the music and all that and then I saw the trailer that came out a few months ago and I was like what is this okay so I decided I'm gonna go see it and I actually had uh, Fandango uh, passes um, I got for Christmas so I said fine and I told my mom last week I'm gonna go see it um, this cats movie um, I had to explain to her that it was the Cats musical and not, like, a movie about cats. Um, <laughs> different things. And she said, oh, I think I'd like that. I want to go with you. And I said, no, Mom, no, Mom. I'm, I, it's terrible. Like, you, you shouldn't come with me. Um, I'm just going so I can go laugh at it. And I told her about the reviews and stuff. Anyways, I ended up not being able to go, or I didn't go when I was in Sturbridge. Um, so I went today. And I got the 1220 matinee, and after watching seven or eight different trailers, including three or four for musicals and three for, I don't know, animated kids' movies, I'm not really sure. Have you heard about the Trolls movie? That's going to be crazy. Um, so anyways, the movie finally starts, and from the very first scene, I'm like, wait a second, this movie does not suck. <laughs> and then, you know, I kept watching it and kept saying, okay, I'm waiting for it to suck. And then eventually I thought, you know, I like this. <laughs> like, okay, like the first scene, it shows up um, in West End in London and they're in an alley and this fancy car pulls up and this woman gets out and she has like a bag with this cat um, who she throws out. And then you look and a second later the bag is like way bigger and obviously there's like a person cat in it. <laughs> and I know this sounds so stupid, but seriously, the movie starts and I immediately think, I actually like this. Like I thought the production value was, at, was very high. Um, I thought that the, all the cat digital fur was well done. I heard that the original release, it wasn't completely finished, and so they put out a new one. So whatever problems there were with the digital fur are gone. I thought it was really well done. Um, for the most part, it, it wasn't creepy to me. I was stunned. So I'm watching this, and there's only a couple things that creep me out. Um... The fact that none of the cats have genitals, I mean, none of the people have genitals, was weird. And I got distracted because you're seeing all these, like, male dancers and you're expecting them to have a bulge, like, ballet dancers. But they don't. They have nothing. <laughs> and even the same for the women. I was just confused, especially because there was a scene where this one cat is doing the thing where, you know, the cats put, like, their legs up way there and they're licking themselves. Except they're not licking anything. Because they have no genitals. Anyways. So, I didn't think the actual, like, digital fur and cat actors were um, awful. And I didn't think they were disturbing. Um, I only really recognized two of the actors. Because I, I just... Actually, three of the actors. I recognized Jennifer Hudson. Um, and Ian McKellen and Judy, Judy Dench. Right? I didn't recognize the others because they were like really in their cat costumes and they all seemed to be putting 
effort into their roles. They were not phoning it in. They were totally for real. Even Judy Dench, I swear. <laughs> they were really good. And then people said, okay, this movie has no story um, or couldn't really work out what was going on. I thought it had a story. Um, I mean, it's true. The plot is basically um, new cat in town. All these other cats introduced themselves to her. There's this bad cat that is trying to cheat on the annual talent show um, and corrupt this new cat. And eventually it all ends, you know, in the talent show. Okay, that's not much of a plot, but it was enough. I mean, and I thought the musical numbers were, were good. Um, the music, which I didn't think I would like, was good. Um, you could understand everything they were singing, unlike in some musicals where I cannot make out the words. So they're cat people, and they're singing about cats. Um, and... Even the theme of it was good. I mean, because I thought about it later and said, okay, the theme of this seems to be that everyone should accept all different kinds of cats. I mean, but people. Um, and that you have to have compassion and sympathy and you have to be supportive of one another even if, you know, a person or cat isn't successful or if a person is like overweight or a person is down on their luck or whatever that's a big message of it and the second message is like don't cheat in the talent show <laughs> I swear I swear so anyways that's my really short review of cats and I guess I'll write something to go with this um but seriously the I, I liked it, and I actually cried at two points during it. Um, there's, like, the song Memory that's sung by Jennifer Hudson, and then after she's finished singing, Victoria picks up the song, and I freaking started crying while this little cat girl, Victoria, is singing, and then there's a reprise later, and I cried again. I mean, I wasn't crying streaking down my face, but I was all teared up unbelievable. I never, ever, ever thought that was going to happen. But I'm being dead serious. <laughs> no, really. And I can't say if other people would like this movie. I mean, I guess they don't. Um, the critics sure didn't. Um, my reaction to it was similar to, you know, if I was watching a Bjork video, and I love Bjork videos, they're freaking weird and people make fun of them. It also reminded me of Tim Burton, um, and I love Tim Burton, and I actually liked Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland, really. Um, and I liked um, his Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, and I definitely like this movie more than I liked um, a Disney animated movie or a Pixar movie. Um, I really don't like those at all. I can't stand, like, all the pop culture jokes, and I don't like the songs, and I don't... There's always a pretty girl. I mean, okay, there's a pretty girl in Cats, but it's kind of different. Um, and, like, when one of those those Disney thing comes on, like, I want to leave the room, turn it off, whatever. This thing, I was like... I want to see what happens in this movie. So weird. I mean that I liked it. I, wow. So give it a chance. Okay, no one's going to give it a chance, but not everyone hates it.